So footwork techniques. Depending on pitch location and batter location, catchers will use different techniques, okay? Um, I, I'm guessing a lot of you from the Bay Area here, so you're a Buster Posey fan, watch Buster. If there's a lefty up, he'll do a replace technique. He clears some space away from the batter. If there's a righty up, he does more of a jab step, jab step or a tap step. If the pitch is down by his right foot, a lot of times he'll throw from his knees. And if the pitch is outside his body frame to his throwing arm side, he'll do a load and throw a rock and fire method. So we did our footwork. Um, go and hold on to that and just do an exchange and the footwork. So you can have the other catcher stand in or you stand in. So I'm a lefty crowd on the plate like Anthony Rizzo. He's going to do a replace technique where his right foot goes where his left foot was. Very common mistake. Go ahead and show them what happens a lot of times. They'll do that technique and then they float toward that dugout as they go to throw. So they'll do that replace and then their energy keeps going this way. Their arm flares out and they launch it. So the key is on that replace technique. When the right foot hits the ground, he's got to drive his left knee toward his target. Okay. Um, if there's a righty up, he can't come this way. He's going to run into him. So watch his right foot. He'll pick it up and put it right back down. Um, that was pretty long. Go shorter. Pick it up, put it down. There it was. So more of a tap step. Uh, Salvador Perez picks his foot up and puts it right back down. I, again, I call it a tap step. Um, Posey, some of these other guys, even Yachty, they'll jab step a little bit, but little is the key word, okay? Um, if I have a lefty up, this technique's going to be awkward. Usually it's a righty up, act like the pitch is outside his right shoulder. So as he goes to receive the pitch, all of his weight's on that leg, so he's just going to keep that foot planted, and it's just a rock and fire method. So, <clears throat> cool. And then go ahead and simulate one down by your right foot and do the throwing from the knees. Okay, so you have him start ball and mitt. You did your foot activation stuff, um, have them practice each technique with the ball in the mitt, then you have them practice each technique off a flip. So we have Anthony Rizzo up, you're gonna do a replace, okay? Ready? Cool. Now you have a righty up, I wanna do jab step, make sure it's not too long, nice and short. Ready? Cool. Now it's gonna be outside your body frame, off to the right, go and load and throw. That one you probably would have stepped on. I didn't throw it that far out there. And then down by your right foot from the knees. Boom. So you hit all the different spots that could happen. And then finally you wrap it up with, which we won't actually do. I know I told you we would, just to save time, because I know I'm getting close. Um, you back up and you pitch to them, or you can go off a machine. You tell them what pitch you're throwing, um, and, uh, but not location, and let them react. It's just like a hitter reacts to what's given to them, up and in, down and away. Uh, off-speed pitch, whatever it is, catches do the same thing. We react to what's given to us, okay?